don't know if you can see that. Where the birds are walking, right there. Between the two air conditioners. It's spewing water straight up into the air. See that white stream? And it's coming over here directly on my clothesline. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Unbelievably painful. Park. Remember me talking about that? Okay, now I had, don't be in too much of, of shock. Of shock? Don't be in too much of it. Don't get yourself in a Don't, yes, whatever. Here we go. Dun 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 Yeah, they cut the tree limbs down. That's about all she wrote. I'm headed that way. 
more to downtown. Yeah, we'll, we will not blame the city council, the city on this one. We'll blame the pandemic. Whatever you got going on in your life, if you missed a deadline, if something's not right in your relationship, just blame the pandemic. It works every time. Moving on. Moving on. when this was the Farmington Motor Company this was kind of like their this little alley here was kind of like their lot they would park cars along the side here or in here waiting their turn to get worked on and or sold y'all want a little secret this right here used to be the old social security building. Welfare, that kind of thing. I don't know what it is now. Social services or something. Chiropractic, who friggin' knows. But on the weekends, and sometimes the weeknights, now don't tell everybody I told you this, because I've seen it firsthand. This is where you go when you need a little company. This is the pickup spot right here. I'm not lying. So, if you're in town and you're a little lonely, I would suggest not coming over here because it is usually patrolled by a heavy presence of uniformed police officers. And you say, how do you know so much? You know how I know so much? It's not because I do, it's because I talk to people. I talk to people who live down here. And so I know these things, and I walk everywhere, so. That's about the size of it. I was just talking to this gentleman a while ago, and we were discussing that very thing. We were discussing that very thing. There's our destination. I'm still on lock and I'm still on animus. I always kind of wondered what this place was. Back in the 50s, this was a distribution point for dairy products. It was called Valley Gold Dairies. And I've got a pick. You'll see the lattice. You'll see the poles. You'll see a hand pullable cart in front and a truck behind it. And then they had the sign across the top. It's pretty cool. Let me let me throw up that pick. Yeah. Yeah. 
so the vehicles would have been sitting right here. I always wondered what this was. And they used to, could have had a sign somewhere here. Somewhere down here, I don't know where it was exactly. Used to have a little white picket fence there, if you noticed in the photo. And this probably would have been the loading dock back here. That's pretty nuts. I never knew that. Let me get it pulled back here so we can get a shot of it this way. I know this is not the same angle, but I'll throw up that pick one more time. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, it's getting hot. I need to head back. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Okay. This is Sullivan Avenue. There is Grace Baptist Church. Okay, let me kind of zoom in some more. The picture is taken about right here. Grace used to have a different sign right over here. Somewhere. I can't see because of the sun, but... I'm going to throw up a pic and show you what it looked like from back in the day. I think this was like 1964 when they were working on Sullivan Avenue. Let me throw that up. Is that just not cool? 1964 that was. Nothing was out here. Now it's just cray cray. You always knew how to make me smile. Oh, ouch, kabibble.